One of the big attractions for me for Wim to Warrior is that it attracts a broad range of people. You're not going to, it's not just your 20 year old fitness fanatic that wants to be, uh, wants to be a fighter. We're getting it, people from all walks of life. I started off as a season one uh, contestant in Wim to Warrior. I stayed on after uh, as a mentor for season two and John asked me to come back for season three as well. In typical Wim to Warrior fashion, we've got a real diverse group of people here. You know, you have people who, from difficult backgrounds, you've got people from professional backgrounds, all mixing well together that if they weren't put in that position, during the Wimp to Warrior program may never have met each other or would probably go out of their way to avoid each other, I suppose, in, uh, uh, for want of a better word. You know, we have, we have people here who in the past struggled from alcoholism, struggled from drugs. We have people here who's, uh, whose goal here is to prove to people that they have a, a, a bit of metal in them that people didn't think they had. I was always pretty good at kind of sports, you know what I mean? I had a, I had a, a, good, a good run at uh, football, they got a youth level. I represented my county and stuff. Um, I think I drank at the first time when I was kind of 12. And uh, I started taking drugs when I was 15. And um, it got a hold of me pretty quick, you know? When I was 18, kind of, I had a life-changing experience, you know? Um, I was out and I was partying heavy. I was taking drugs and alcohol and I ended up having to go into hospital. Um, a paramedic came and it was with me, it could deal with me heart like. Um, and I went into the hospital and ever since that day, like, I thought I was going to die in the hospital. And uh, yeah, I developed like, an anxiety and a panic disorder from that. The way that I managed the anxiety and panic disorder was through alcohol. It was the only time that I felt normal. And uh, at the time I, I didn't realise I was self-medicating drink to escape the anxiety, but then getting more anxiety the next day from drinking. So then drinking again to escape the anxiety, and that was the kind of cycle that I got caught into. Wimp to Warrior has, has helped me like, kind of maintain my sobriety this long, because I've literally found a new passion. Like I'm the longest I've ever been sober now, which is 10 months. Uh, four days after the fight, like, I'll be a year sober. It was something that I always had an interest in, but, you know, with my addiction, like it, was, it wasn't something that I physically would have been able to do. When I was drinking, I suppose idle time was the devil's playground. The quick escape, the immediate gratification was at the end of a bottle. I believe in healthy addictions, you know, I'm, I'm transforming uh, my addictive personality to something that I absolutely love and uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. James has had a very big, big struggle with alcohol for a very long time and it was very, very hard. And I always kept my religion up, it probably has nothing got to do with it, but I always prayed that James would come well in the end and turn out to be the man that I knew he could be. His life is completely changed. He's a better man, great son, and uh, he's fighting now on the 30th of June. I'll be there by his side, and which I've always been. But uh, Wimp to Warrior has just changed his life so much. It was, a, it was a long journey of discovery, of self-discovery, you know. I know myself now, I know who I am. Um, and I have, I have such an appreciation for life now. I just feel so grateful and, and I'm, I just love living, you know. Our logo is actually uh, a gorilla, just like SPG, so it's kind of cool. Uh, one of the reasons why I decided to do Wimp to Warrior was that over the last four years, we've been completely focused on the studio. It's our baby. Um, but I noticed, particularly over the last two years, that I was just letting fitness and everything just totally go to the wayside and I, I needed something and then I saw that Wimp to Warrior was on and thought that well this would be a great challenge 
um, it would get me up early in the morning, start the day, um, and just decided to, to see how we'd go with it. Um, and here we are, we're about six weeks out from fight night, uh, so I've survived this far anyway. Another reason why I decided to do him to Warrior was because there's diabetes in my family, um, and I see people affected by it daily. Um, and I, I just knew myself that I needed to, to get my own health in, in order. Um, so yeah, Wim to Warrior has definitely helped me do that, so it's great. Getting up out of bed at five o'clock in the morning for fitness before Wim to Warrior was a no. Just flat out no. Because I'm up earlier in the morning, my brain is switched on quicker. Prior to Wim to Warrior, you know, you're getting in at nine and you know, it takes you kind of a half an hour to an hour to, to, to get warmed up into it. Whereas now I'm already, I'm already there. I've been up for a few hours already. It's cool having that extra bit of confidence in yourself, um, knowing that you can, you can kind of handle yourself a bit anyway. This was made for the McGregor Mayweather fight. I, I don't know how Neve's done it because the amount of training she's doing is, is amazing, but she's also managing to work at the same time. Uh, so it is, it is achievable. The training's been great and kept her disciplined and getting her up at 6 a.m. in the morning and um, it's good for, for the job because when we come in here we, we're, we've already thought about what we have to do for the day ahead and planning what the what the guys are going to be working on and she's got far fitter and healthier and within herself um, and for most of the day she's alert but you know come six o'clock she gets tired and we, we go home but that's a good thing too because then we're not staying until nine o'clock at night so we've got a good work-life balance and um, on the Wim to Warrior journey with Neve. For other business owners that are thinking about doing this challenge, um, but kind of, you know, are, are thinking, oh, it'll be too much, too much of a commitment. To be honest, if you can start up and run your own business, you can, you can do Wim to Warrior as well. My lifestyle has been pretty hectic throughout my entire life. Um, I, I used a lot of drugs in my time. Um, I wasn't really, I didn't really want to have to deal with the problems I was facing. So uh, I used to take a lot of drugs to. to what type of problems were you facing? Um, I had trouble at home. Um, I was getting in trouble with, in school with the police. Um, I was a stage in my life. I was homeless. Um, just a pretty chaotic life, pretty chaotic life. With, with my drug addiction, it went hand in hand. Um, I used to steal to feed my habit, so that me and the police knew each other intimately. Um, I've served time in prison, uh, prisons all over Ireland. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty eventful life. What were you in prison for? Um, a lot of it was, I was in prison because of, again, my addiction. Um, it would have been shoplifting. Larceny. Um, I think around when I was 20, I had my first daughter, Kayla. Um, I think if it wasn't for her, I don't think I'd be sitting here today. I think because of her, I didn't really, I held myself back from, I, I, I imagine I would have died from a lot of the crazy stuff I was doing. So I'm pretty, I'm, I have to say I'm grateful that my daughters came along when they did, because I don't think I'd be sitting here discussing this with you if it wasn't for them. I had always dreamt of competing. I, I didn't know, maybe perhaps wrestling, boxing, but I'd never been confident enough to take the step and actually go in and do it. So an opportunity arose, and uh, I grasped that I was given the opportunity to go and train in SBG and compete in the Wimp to Warrior, and uh, I took it. My personality has definitely changed. I was so super negative, and um, I tend to see a lot of positives in people now. I, I like to encourage rather than tear people down. 
Uh, I like who I am these days. I think I'm a better version of, of who I was. This room is my sitting room, which I used to do a lot of sitting in. I used to spend a lot of time here uh, taking drugs and not enjoying life. Didn't enjoy it one bit. Now this room I use for stretching and shadow boxing. So I absolutely love it. So big changes. Anyone can do it. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Four years ago, the police came to the door uh, looking to arrest yours truly, to bring me to court, to bring me to prison. Um, and they broke my door in. So again, just a nice reminder of where I've come from and stuff that I won't forget. So miserable when I used to go into that methadone place. So miserable. So glad to be out there. I'm not sure what it, they prescribe it for. It's, for me, it kind of just slowed down my drug taking. And didn't stop me using. There was a stage in my life where I, I wasn't lucky enough to have a roof over my head. Um, cardboard was my mattress, and uh, this is it. It's actually pretty weird from back here now. Um, now that I have a roof over my head, it's kind of very sweet. I don't know. I'm so grateful that I was able to pull myself out of that. I used to go into town, I'd have to steal, steal clothes to sell them to, to feed my habit. I'd come back here with some uh, fresh cardboard, and that's where I slept, and that was, that was my home for six months. Not really much more I can say about that. I'm very protective now of mixed martial arts because it's helped me so much. Lucky to have found it. I'm very protective now of mixed martial arts because it's helped me so much. Lucky to have found it. Found it. I, I think when we done the interview at the start of Wimp Warrior, I said um, I wanted to see what I was made of, you know what I mean? And, and this journey has given me a glimpse into that and I'm still here, you know? It's something that I'll definitely continue on 100%, win, lose or draw. People who run businesses will have a certain mentality and that's 100% the mentality that somebody in Wimp to Warrior would have as well. If, if I can do it, why, why can't anyone do it? It's given me confidence, it's given me courage, it's given me happiness. When he went to Wimp to Warrior, he do, really did, he became a warrior. It's been a great experience and, and I can't, I can't put into words, you know, what, what kind of, it, it's done, uh, both physically and emotionally. The great thing about the mat is everybody's equal on the mat. It doesn't matter what walk of life you came from, it's all about who's putting in the most amount of effort and uh, that's, it's, it's just a lot of fun to deal with because you never know who you're going to be, who you're talking with on the mat. When you come across people who come into the gym, some from various different backgrounds, and you see the changes in them over the 22 weeks, they form this bond and this friendship that it's very difficult to describe. And one thing I always say to them is, there's no such thing as the word can't. There's only won't. If you can instill that, mind, that mindset into them, regardless of whether it's on the mats here in the gym or whether it's in a difficult situation in life, they'll make the right decision and they'll, they'll get the benefits of that.